Hi, Kevin Blanche. We're out here in Wendover, Utah. This is the Enola Gay Hangar. The museum curator brought me over here to take a look. I gotta show these guys the outside of this building. The outside is just, it's something else, but I'm gonna do an art show in here. That's what I'm talking to him about. Renting it. They've got to stabilize. They got to grant and stabilize it. This is the first time I've been inside it in a long time before. Whoa. So this is the main hangar area. You see the tail wouldn't fit in, so they uh, had the door that there's a winch and a crank over on the end there that you actually go over and crank and it'll lift up the little door for the tail to come through. Other than that, the whole door opens up over there. This is the main part of the hangar. The shops were over on the sides, like that was the, this was the propeller shop over here. did all the work on the propellers. Now when it flew out of here, the Enola Gay, now it flew and the bomb was loaded elsewhere, right? Uh, you mean the bomb? The bomb, little the, boy. The bomb was taken over in parts on different planes and ships to Tinian. To Tinian, that's right. And there's where it was loaded on. It was the loaded there, Gay. that's right. They did a lot of the, the testing on the mock-up bombs here, you know, different tail fin configurations, uh, that sort of stuff, and actually dropped them out of the airplane, the Enola Gay, just south of here, uh, to do the testing on it, to make sure that it was gonna work as yeah. advertised. <laughs> wow. I really get into Oppenheimer a lot. You know, we talk about him a lot. I'm, that's one of my next stops. I wanna get down to Los Alamos. Unsecure side that you could have access to, uh, but okay. like I said, we'd have to secure that other secure side. Secure the other side. Now I don't think we'd get a lot of people field. in here. You know, I mean, we would set up right here. You know, just display our. In fact, my, one of the things I use, I use an old clothesline, and I hang my art on the clothesline, and then we could shoot some videos on the walls, and you know, people could come in. But okay. a lot of it, just the historical marker of it. Hey, these artists had set up in the Enola Gay hangar, and we'd get our videos of it. Yeah, we'd only spend a couple of days, and we'd be in and out. This was the original uh, locker room and restrooms for the hangar. Oh. Uh, we're in the middle of restoring that. If you go up the steps, there's uh, some office space up there. They've done a lot out here. They have all kinds of facilities and buildings. They've restored six of the different buildings all over out here. Oh, wow, how great. You can set your office up here, boy. The original boiler is over on the, in that other room on the other side that provided heat for it. Barracks. <laughs> this ceiling's grand. It it's grand. I tell everybody. There's more shops on the bottom on the other side, and then the offices were up top there. Colonel Tibbetts's office was the the top one on the right. Over oh, there. so he was right there. His office was right there. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That's an amazing. This history is amazing. So great.